Okay, so guys, in this episode, we are going to solve this issue here where our halls are going through our walls. Halls through the walls. Okay, so we'll obviously start in our pathbinding.c file. And how we're gonna approach this is we're going to add another check on in our add neighbors function. So in our add neighbors, we have a couple conditions and we're just going to add another one and we're gonna say, um, um, doo -doo -doo -doo. I guess, I don't know, check position. I thought I had a better name for it, but whatever check position okay so check position and this is going to take in an int y and an int x so that's going to be the position we're going to check so y take away one in this case and x excellent okay and it's going to return an integer basically a boolean. We're going to call the end cursus function move inch. We move to our y and our x position. This returns a char. At least we'll set it to a char. Call it temp. So we're basically saying uh, give us the character at this position and store it in temp. Now we're going to say if um, temp is not equal, uh, let's do equal actually, let's do if it's equal to, it is equal to a wall or it is equal to a wall, that's in a wall as well. Then we're going to return false or zero. Else return one, which is true. Okay, so that's pretty simple function. Um, yes, now something to notice here is that we've coded this function and this function here is only going to work when we're um, pathfinding for our hallways, right? This is not going to work when we're pathfinding for say our monsters because our monsters can only walk on these floor positions or maybe, maybe a hallway position as well. So we've kind of broken our, we're only coding for, or we've, we, I, I wanted this this um, pathfinding function down here, pathfind to take in a position, start position and end position and return a path for anything. But right now it, it's not doing that. This check position specifically really, really breaks it. So um, that's okay, we'll, we'll come to that uh, when we come to it. But just keep that in mind that now this function is like entirely only going to work for a uh, hallway pathfinding. So anyways, just, you know, something to think about when you're writing these functions. Um, but yeah, anyways, there is a solution and I'm kind of, kind of excited to explore it because you know, I think the idea is, um, we'll, we'll try and pass a function pointer in. So then, this check position will become the the function for hallway finding. But anyways, uh, we're not there yet. So anyways, all I'm doing is I'm adding this uh, condition to uh, the rest of the, the if statements. So now we have that um, in there. Now let's see, there's something we need to fix. What do we need to fix? We need to fix something, ah yes. Um, so here we're saying while well, y equals came from at y x zero and x is equal to came from y x one. 
there's a problem here. When we, when we set y equal to this came from, we're changing y. Then we reuse y. So I'll show you, I'll show you how, how it's going to run so far. Um, let's see. Not work. Make run. Hey, look at that. So it doesn't go into the wall, but then it does this little hop here. And that's, I mean, it took me forever to figure out why it was doing that, but it is because we are overwriting this. So all we need is, let's say, actually we have these counter variables. So instead of declaring a new variable, let's just do, um, i equals y and uh, since we don't use we don't use i in here so we can just uh, plug this in there that's pretty bad and you know what let's not do that no no let's that's just uh i can't do that so we'll just call it do temp y then if somebody looks at um looks at this line they kind of know a bit better what's going on instead of introducing i so now, you know, what's, what's one more line of code? So we will remake and we will make run. Let's see if this solved that problem. And it did. Okay, so we now have successfully connected this door to this door. And, you know, it, hopefully it runs really well for everybody. And it's a, a step up from the previous implementation. So what we're going to do next tutorial is we're just going to connect all the rooms and I've already done it and it looks pretty cool. So yeah, thanks for watching.